right now but one day you'll understand your daddy did a very cool thing today. Circumnavigating the world by sailboat is actually something I never set out to do. I was a pretty standard guy living a decent comfortable life in Seattle. I had my own software consulting company, a nice townhouse filled with pottery barn furniture, a sweet forerunner, a 22-foot Catalina I could sail on the lake, and even a sea for blasting around. By all accounts, I was doing exactly what everyone thought I should be doing and had done for all my life. I studied hard, got into the University of Washington, graduated with an electrical engineering degree, and went directly to work at Microsoft as a program manager in the Windows team. A few years later, some friends and I left Microsoft to start our own company, and I should have been a complete and content person, but I wasn't. My life was divided into 50-minute chunks with just enough time in between to run to the next meeting. In the mornings, I had this feeling of dread in my gut before I opened up my laptop, just knowing I would be barraged with hundreds of emails. One day, I realized that my bus ride across the 520 bridge to and from my office was actually the highlight of my day. I didn't even care about the traffic. It was my time to reflect, to stare out the window, where no one could ask me for anything. I decided this was no way to live and felt a yearning to do something different something out of the ordinary. I fell in love with the idea of giving it all up and setting out on a grand adventure. Just take some time off to go out and explore, to get to know myself better and follow my interests. So I sold everything I owned, bought Delos, and had enough money left over for 18 months of sailing. 18 whole months of time to reflect, to sleep in late, to explore new places, to sail from island to island across the gigantic Pacific Ocean. My idea was to try and make it to New Zealand, a far-flung, exotic land on the other side of the planet. I would sit in the pub after my arrival, throw back a cold beer, and entertain whoever would listen of my tales from the high seas. And then what? Well, I'd certainly be ready to get back to normal life, so I'd just sell Delos, hop on the next flight back to the US, and return to work as hopefully a more interesting, happier person with a better view on what really matters in my life. But as often the case, plans can and do change. And here, I find myself 13 years and 70,000 nautical miles later, crossing an imaginary line in the ocean that I crossed as a very different person so many years ago. I'm happy to say that today's video is sponsored by AG1 from Athletic Greens. It's been like over a year since I started drinking AG1 regularly and I have to say it's become a crucial part of my morning routine. The thing I really like about it is it's quick and easy to prepare and just one scoop of AG1 has over 75 minerals, vitamins, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, it's like replacing nine health products all rolled into one. So since I've started drinking AG1, I've noticed increased and consistent energy levels throughout the day. 213, 214. It's my way of knowing that I'm supporting my immune system and my gut with probiotics all at the very same time. So just click the link in the description below or head on over to athleticgreens.com forward slash svdelos. If you do, not only will you support our project, but you also get a free one-year supply of vitamin D drops and five free travel packs of AG1 powder. That's it. Thanks very much for your support. And now back to the show.
It was a day unlike any other aboard Delos. We were on day two of our 250 mile sail from our last anchorage in Zihuatanejo towards Cuesta Comates, a cozy little beachside village on the Pacific coast of Mexico that lies just around the corner from the point where I could officially say I'd circumnavigated planet Earth. The conditions and the vibe on board were pretty calm, with the exception, of course, of our smallest crew member who was having the time of her life. Wow. I wish I could just bottle that and sell that. If I'd I be a millionaire. Energy, I would <laughs> like this so many things. <laughs> What's new in the morning report? Morning report? Not much. We have a lot of energy, we have breakfast, playing hide and seek. That's pretty much it. Were you guys scootering a little bit? Your little Hello Kitty bag. Got accessories on the scooter. Anything to add to the morning report today? Morning report? Yeah. Like the news? What's Here happening? we are from the oceans. Of... We're on the ocean, nothing's going on. There's no wind, we're motoring. <laughs> Sierra's making me play music so that she can dance. Yeah, make the people's dance. During my journey of over 70,000 nautical miles, I've spent 536 days at sea. Over the years, the days have looked a little bit different. For starters, the presence of a dancing toddler during my morning watch is a more recent addition to the mix. But Sierra isn't the only tiny cute thing we've had as crew. When we cast the lines off in Seattle all those years ago, we were joined by our furry companion Mishka. It turns out that a long-haired Persian is not the ideal boat cat for the tropics, and we ended up flying her back to the US after our first season out. It turns out that Mishka was one in a long line of crew that would call Delos home. 69 souls from 17 different countries have been a part of this voyage over the years. All characters that have defined many chapters of a living and breathing story. When I think back on the seasons, I'm less influenced by the locations, time of year, or weather, but more by the collection of humans that have made up my sailing family and whole floating world. First, there was the West Coast crew that helped me to brave the sometimes furious waters of the North Pacific. Then there was the Puddle Jump crew, taking us from Mexico to New Zealand. The New Zealand crew that changed the course of my life forever, followed by this ragtag bunch that got us to Fiji, and then through the South Pacific, hitting every backpacker party along the way. Then Australia, the crossing of the wicked Indian Ocean from Asia to Madagascar, our incredible South African loop, the Atlantic Ocean crossing to Brazil, the girl crew that took us safely from Mexico to Panama, and our friends that returned to get us through the Panama Canal, and finally, up the West Coast to Mexico. Today, our crew consists of myself, my wife, my Swedish princess, the mother of my child, and by far the most incredible person I have ever met, Karen. Our tiny captain in the making and little nugget of sunshine herself, the cuddle extraordinaire, my daughter, Sierra. And our kooky and quirky little surfer and amazing Amiga Jordan, whom we met sailing the Caribbean a few years ago. She joined our little family in Panama to help us sail Delos to Mexico a few months ago, who just so happened to be busy down below making a few preparations for the occasion of the day. We are officially finishing uh, Brian's circumnavigation today. Um, we're going to do a little bit more of like a formal kind of celebration as we go into the marina, but we are going to cross the line in this afternoon. So we wanted to do like one little small thing before we get in. And so we have the idea to make a t-shirt. So that's what I'm up to right now. So we're just going to do it with the little Sharpie <laughs> ghetto Dello style. And then just got a few more hours to go and we're going to be there. It's going to be a pretty crazy moment. Not exactly perfect, but I think it has just the right amount of uh, Delos charm. Whoa! What? 
You know what? I don't know what. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. What's going on? What's yeah. explain logistically what's going on right now? All right. Well, we're approaching the most southern points that I sailed to in Mexico many, 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 many moons ago. So technically, ahead of us, there's like an imaginary line where I cross my track, which signifies making it back to like something about sailing around the world. And I don't even know. Not what to say. something about sailing. Like, not something about it is sailing around the world, which is a Amazing, amazing. Like, what, five months? Five months? Yeah. Five yeah. Months. Are you proud of yourself? I don't know, I guess. I'm proud of you. Brian's too thing. bashful, so I think you should, you should say some nice things <laughs> yeah, about it because say? he's not going to say it himself. Brian is the strongest, most hardworking person I know. I'm so incredibly proud of him to have accomplished this huge milestone. I mean, to have sailed around the whole globe? How cool is that? For this lap around the world, he has been a fantastic captain, not just sharing this adventure with 69 crew, but also making sure everyone is safe, and at the same time fixing all the millions of things that have broken along the way. He trusts people, takes them under his wing, and inspires others to take the leap into the unknown. He has inspired me to believe in myself and push for those unforgettable moments that you only really get when you try something new that is out of your comfort zone. So much have happened over the last 13 years on Delos, and it's hard to sum it all up into words. He is the love of my life and the best person I know, and I'm so happy to be able to share this special moment together. Like it's crazy? Do you just feel like kind of when is your birthday? You wake up and you're like, I don't know if it's my birthday. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of emotions. I just don't know what they mean. Like I've I've experienced so much, and you know, I've, I've like literally seen and experienced more than any man has a right to. I think. And now we're arriving back to like where I left Mexico from. Yeah. I haven't really processed it yet. Ahoy, Delos tribe. To celebrate my circumnavigation, we asked you to get creative and send us some designs over social media. And boy, did you come through. It was a super tough decision, but we finally narrowed it down to two classic designs, both inspired by a retro world tour concept. We loved them both so much, we decided to release two special edition shirts to celebrate the occasion. A huge shout out to Hester from South Africa for designing our retro world tour shirt, which features the route Delo sailed along with some pretty sweet and memorable stats of the trip. The retro world tour is available in both men's and women's sizes and colors. A huge shout out to Patrick from the USA for designing our pirate world tour shirt, which features Delos encircled by the memorable stats of the trip with our route underneath in true pirate fashion. The Pirate Tour is available in both men's and women's sizing in Pirate Blue. Both designs are available right now in our shop, so grab yourself a sweet shirt and support our project at the same time. Just head on over to svdelos.com forward slash world tour and grab yours today. Thanks for your support. This one looks like a pea bucket. <laughs> I know, it really does. So that's white wine and lime LaCroix. <laughs> and then we're gonna put some frozen blueberries in there, some cucumber and lime, Ooh. and then some rambutan just for decoration. I think there's gonna be a little sweat mixing with these drinks. <laughs> totally. Here we go. The this yogurt. is a part of every professional bartender's toolkit. <laughs> a yogurt jar with a kitchen spoon. Can we have a little uh, cup with just the LaCroix? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. You want to give, pick these up? Don't give them to Daddy. Yeah. We're celebrating yeah. Daddy. Do, do, do. I don't know what you Whoa. say. Do, do. Take me away from where I want to. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> that little wobble. Okay. We have a hat for you. Okay. Hat. And you 
not put down I'm the drink. I'm wearing the hat now. Yeah. Oh, thank and you. then we have this lovely t-shirt that Jordan scribbled together. I sailed around the entire world and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to have a fresh shirt after sweating all day long, anyways. Oh my god, that shirt is so disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good on you. Okay, should we go sit up on, on the deck? Yeah. Here's okay. your drinky. Wow. I'm gonna grab my drink. Okay. Make sure we don't hit anything for the yeah. oh. last little stretch. Don't. Yeah. Holy sh. So, knowing me, I would have probably cut a straight line between those rocks right there and the entrance to Barra which is like right there, which means like, I say we should do a countdown from like 10, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, five, four, three, two, one. I see A group one and then a solo one just to showcase this Splendid magnificent outfit. look that's going on right now, this vibe. It's always been a little hard for me to express my emotions, and in this case, I was definitely more than a little choked up. But being surrounded by my friends and family as we approached a tiny Mexican village that I remembered from over a decade ago absolutely put me over the top. To say that I've evolved as a person during this time would be the understatement of the year. But right now, I just needed to stay focused on not crashing Delos, getting her anchored, and soaking in the moment. Well, it's sunset, it's so beautiful. Okay. Ooh, that's what a, a moment, drink. yeah. Mm, how's that LaCroix? You good? You might not understand right now, but one day you'll understand your daddy did a very cool thing today. A very special thing, yeah. Okay, let's uh, anchor this bad boy. I know. We're, we're getting pretty close. I think Brandon's like, holy shit, I don't want to wreck the boat like right as we come in. That's it, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Woo! Crash the boat, I'm out. Time to get a condo. <laughs> yeah, let's anchor and chill out. Sounds good. <laughs> Pretty incredible to wake up in this amazing anchorage after spending the last few weeks dodging bad weather or rolling around the open ocean for the 1,500 or so miles we'd covered since leaving Costa Rica. But unfortunately, there was more bad weather on the horizon, so we decided to move Delos into the marina in Barra de Navidad so we could hunker down for our second brush with the hurricane of the season. And since Barra is officially the most southern point I made it to in Mexico before crossing the Pacific, we thought it would be fitting to arrive into port in style. Whoa. So yes. look at this morning situation. We got a special delivery courtesy of billionaire. Time to fancy up the boat, huh? Yeah. Dress her up. your favorite thing to happen mm. of the circumnavigation? Yes. Yeah. So we have our old courtesy flags from like all around the world. We are missing some. I don't know where they are. I feel like they would be like 
missing like 40. Though. Yeah, we're missing like most of most of them. I think they're on the boat somewhere. We use like for our lives cannot find it. So sounds real tattered South Africa. I know. <laughs> the South Africa one is like so done. Some of these have no idea what they are. Like I know. What was that like purple one? This one. Yeah, that's this one. Which one is this? Somebody can tell us in the comments. I'm I sure. know. It's considered proper sailor etiquette to fly a courtesy flag for each country you visit. And since Delos has sailed to 46 different countries, we've amassed quite a collection of flags over the years. As an engineer, I'm a bit of a numbers guy, so now seems like a pretty good time to bust out some stats I put together about the trip. Over the course of sailing to 46 countries, we've managed to set foot on North America, South America, Australia, Asia, Africa, and Europe leaving only Antarctica as the one continent we didn't visit. The total trip duration was just short of 13 years, coming in at 12 years and 11 months. And during that time, Delos covered 77,211 nautical miles on the high seas. We replaced our standing rigging once in Thailand, and we're currently on our third full set of sails. During the trip, I've hauled Delos out of the water for routine maintenance a total of eight times. Once in Seattle, Washington, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, Bundaberg, Australia, the Whit Sundays, Australia, Langkawi, Malaysia, Grenada, and Annapolis in Maryland. Our trusty water maker has produced 224,960 liters of fresh drinking water, which is about 60,000 gallons which is also the equivalent of drinking nearly five average size swimming pools over the years. We ran our main diesel engine for 4,707 hours and our generator for 5,290 hours, which means I did about 40 oil changes over the years. We consumed a total of 26,375 liters of diesel fuel. That might sound like a lot, but if you calculate the average over time, it comes to just 169 liters per month, which would be about 11 gallons per week, which is actually less fuel than I use commuting to and from work in my Forerunner. Not that bad, right? Our highest wind experienced in port was 74 knots in Durban, South Africa, and at sea, it was 62 knots sailing the wrong way around the Cape of Good Hope through the Roaring Forties where we encountered 30-foot seas and some of the worst sailing conditions I've ever seen. What's different about you today, Brian? Yeah. You look like I a look man different. who's sailed around the entire world. I look older, wiser. You, you look more distinguished. More distinguished. Wiser, accomplished. Accomplished. Successful, likable. Successful? Wow, I'm liking this. All these things, yeah. All right, hoist them up. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, Delos is ready for prom. She looks real sexy. All right, let's do this. Whoa! I remember playing pool at the bar. I remember surfing at this beach here. And I remember there's some like some canals in the back where uh, you could go have Chinese food, at, like a lady's house. Are you proud of your man? Yeah, it's really cool. Like we just read some stuff and it just said like, you know, more people have climbed Mount Everest than like sailed around the world. Really? Which is yeah. kind of crazy, true? yeah. Try, try not to run aground.
I was at a complete loss for words, and more than a little choked up. My mind wandered to all the incredible places I've seen, the amazing people that have come into my life because of sailing, and most of all, to the fellow sailors that have come out to welcome us into this tiny little out-of-the-way port in Mexico. That's the best hug ever. Cheers! 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 Cheers. Welcome! Congratulations! Congratulations, Sierra! Cheers, Max! Cheers, Max! Cheers! Looking around the circle. Run, Jordan, run! Hurry up! Start your navigation! Done! Completed! So here we are, 13 years and over 70,000 miles later, filled to the brim with memories, adventures, and a lovely family by my side, not to mention more than a few margaritas. I don't know exactly what the future holds for me in Delos, but I can promise you one thing. The completion of my circumnavigation isn't the finish line. And when it comes to my greatest adventure yet, we're only just getting started. thing about sailing around the world is, <laughs> as I get older, the girls stay the same age. <laughs> what do you feel about the future? Are you just gonna eat bread and dessert and get back? Get no fat and sassy. Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. How many miles since we started vlogging? Four, four miles. We vlogged for one mile. Vlogged for one mile. <laughs> Should I put pants on? 